Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at um, creating a trigger for a door. So what I want to do is at the moment I've got a very very simple setup in my game view and I want to be able to uh, walk up to my sci-fi door and walk into a trigger and automatically this door will animate open. Obviously I can walk around it, this is just a demo. So um, that's what we're going to do. So first things first, just to keep organized, we're going to go to create, go to folder and create a animations folder. Okay. Once we've got that folder, go to window, go to not sequencing animation and we're going to open up the animation tab. I'm going to put that down right next to my game so I can see what's happening in my scene view. And then I'm going to choose what I want to animate. So you can see that I've got my sci fi door single frame 03, um, and that's selecting my whole thing. I actually want to click that down arrow and click sci fi door single 03. There we go. So um, as soon as I click on that, we can see in the animation tab it says to begin animating sci fi door single 03, create an animation clip. Okay, no worries. So um, I think it already has an animator on it. Um, sometimes it will create an animator and an animation clip as well, but that animator is already automatically there. So um, I'm going to click create and my new animation within the animations folder, I'm going to call this close. So we're going to create four animations here. Uh, close, opening, open and closing. And um, this uh, is essentially how we're going to use the blend tree within Animator and blend all our different animations together. So what we're going to do first is close. This will be the easiest animation we can do. So uh, we're going to add a property, go to transform, go to position. And we can see that we've got a keyframe at um, zero frames or zero seconds and a keyframe at one second. This is perfectly fine because this is our first animation. It is a closed state. That's what we're creating. So that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. So, um, and we can see that there's no animation there because we have not changed the states of these keyframes. Okay, so let's create um, an animation for opening. So go to create a new clip. It again will prompt me and I will call this opening. Click save and then uh, we can instantly get a brand new uh, animation. Again, add property, transform, position. So my first state, so my first keyframe is perfectly fine. I want um, that to be closed and want my, animat uh, my animated door to be closed. Um, but for this keyframe, I am actually going to change it. So what I'm going to do is move my needle across here, uh, click record. So I'm going to change the state of the animation and I'm going to drag this up to, we can drag that all the way up to, let's say, yep, that's quite good. I think that's quite nice. Uh, so you can see here that my transform and position has gone red because I'm recording a different keyframe. Hopefully that's gone onto the keyframe and recorded that. So if I pull back my keyframe, we can now see if I press play, my door, obviously this is on a loop, is opening. So that is my opening animation. Awesome. So let's create, so what that point was that at? Uh, two, three, four, six, cool, lovely. Okay, so let's create our next animation. And our next animation is going to be just open. So we're going to go to create new animation, open, click save, property, transform, position, lovely. So I need to make sure that I press record. And my first keyframe is at 2.346. Enter, and I'm going to drag this along. And as you can see, that it's already made this keyframe default at zero. And again, I'm just going to click 2.346, press enter, unrecord, and hopefully both of my keyframes. There we go. 
and now I have an open animation. My state has not changed. Fantastic. So final one, let's create a closing animation. Click save. Repeat this again. So um, my starting animation is going to be 2.346, press enter. I should be able to then come out of record, press play and we can see that my animating door is now closing. So I've now created all four states close, opening, open and closing. Awesome. Okay, so once we've done that, um, we can open our animator tab. Let's just have a look at our sci-fi door and see if it has it's got animator. Oh, there we go. It has got a controller on it. That's fantastic. So what I can do, go to window again, go to animation. This time we're going to go to animator. So, and as you can see in animator, I've got all four of the animation states that I've just created. Okay. Um, entry point, we don't need um, to worry about entry point. All we need to worry about is that there is a default connection from entry to close, which is going to be our first animation because we don't want our door to start on open. So, um, and this essentially is like a void start within a script kind of thing. We want to make sure that um, entry is connected to something because if it's not connected to anything, this won't start at the start of our game once we press play up there. So what I'm going to do is drag my animator tab down here. There we go, it's popped into that order. And what we can do, you can hold Alt or Option um, and you can drag around and move this into position how you like. So what we're going to do is create a transition from uh, close to opening, opening to open and open to close, closing. So what we're going to do is we can right click one of these and make a transition and then you get one of these transition arrows so I'm gonna go straight to opening and again there we go so this is our motion of what we want our states of what we want to happen with our uh, different animations that we have we want close to then go to opening opening to go to open and then open to go to closing and then right at the end once our door has closed, we have to go make that transition back to uh, closing. So even with this already, I think we could probably press play on our game. And there we go. Our door is already going through these states. So if we watch this, because these states are only a, a frame long, we can see that the animation states are going through close, opening, open and closing again. just like that awesome okay cool so right at the moment we haven't got anything in our scene to trigger our and um, our door to open so we need to add that so what I'm going to do is just quickly grab our FPS controller and move him back a bit um, and then I'm going to go to game object 3d object and add a cube so, and then I'm going to make this cube um, and uh, so I've got one cube already and I'm just going to quickly call it the floor so I don't confuse myself. Lovely. And then with this cube, I'm going to rename this door trigger. Cool. So, um, now I've done that, I'm going to expand uh, um, expand this so let's uh, go to scale so this is for the area of where I can walk into to trigger my door so I'm going to make sure that's kind of in between I'll just make that a little wider yep that'll do lovely okay so obviously 
I'm not going to leave a massive pig white cube in the middle of my scene. And this is just going to act as a trigger area that I can walk into. So what I need to do, now I've called this door trigger, I'm going to parent this with my um, my space door. So what I'm going to do is grab door trigger and put that onto door trigger there. So it's parented on. Then when my door trigger is in the inspector, let's have a look. We can see that the box collider, um, well I'm going to make this a trigger. Okay. Cool. So, and also, so we don't see this massive big white block when we're in our game, I'm going to turn off the mesh renderer as well. So, you might be able to see it, but you can see it now. You can kind of see it here. We've just got this collider that is going to act as our trigger just there. My door's open a bit slightly. Hopefully, we can rectify that in a moment. No worries. Okay. So that's really good that we've set that to a trigger. Okay, so um, once we've got that trigger sorted out, um, we need to have a look at parameters. So if you haven't come across parameters before, um, they're kind of almost like um, statements that we would put into um, scripts. So um, balls, triggers, floats, um, anything like that, but um, a parameters for what's going to happen within our game so to, to, to dictate and tell our animations what to do. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to create a new parameter. So I'm going to make sure I'm clicked on parameters within our animator, click our plus, and click on ball. And I'm going to call this new ball is opening. Lovely. Okay, so I've now set that condition. So what I can do is have a look on my close to opening transition. If I click that transition here, you can see that I've got transitions here or conditions. Okay, and what I can do is think, okay, so uh, logically the door is going to, from close to opening, is the door opening? Yes. So what I can do is go to plus is is opening true because it obviously it's a bully a boolean statement okay so if you have, haven't come across against boolean statements they are either true or false can't be anything else okay so and um, once we've done that we um can look at the open to closing so open to closing transition and so if we click on that and is opening will be false. So again, change true to false. Lovely. Okay, so we're not looking at um, opening to open or closing to close because there is no change of state. There is no animation between those. So we don't need to worry about those. And really we're just doing this just kind of to show um, how we can create these different animations and where the states and parameters um, can come in and create different conditions for our, for our animations. Okay, so what we need to do is we're going to create a brand new script. Go to create a C sharp script, and I'm going to name this door controller. And this will control our door and our trigger as well. So let's just open up Visual Studio. Okay, so we've got uh, Visual Studio has now opened. As you can see, the model behavior is called door um, door controller. Awesome, fantastic. So um, what we're going to do is let's create our first um, or our first and only variable. So um, when we create anything like this, we need to make sure we're calling up the right thing. So uh, we're not going to call up. Um, any kind of trigger yet or anything like that we need to be we need to take it one more um, step back from that and call up the animator because that holds all of our animations and our parameters within that that we've created so is opening so what we're going to do is um, say animator that should pop up there it is and we can call this uh, underscore door um, anim. So I'm going to call that underscore door anim for animation. Okay. 
So that's the, the name of our variable. So for door anim, we need to say underscore door anim in start because we need to say, despite us calling it the variable here, we still need to call up that component. So we need to say door anim is equal to this dot transform dot parent dot get component and animator lovely okay so we've said parent within um, within our script because you've got to remember that we are our door um, is in fact within um, the door frame here so that's why um, it's um, transform.parent because it's parented with another object so no uh, needs to make sure or be aware of that when we um, look at that again um, okay so once we've done that we uh, can look at our trigger so I'm gonna put our trigger just above here so we know what we're doing so um, void oh, let's say private void private void on trigger enter collider other fantastic that should work fine so we're now going to say underscore door anim dot set ball because remember that's the condition that we've set and we're going to say is opening and that is true lovely okay so what we've said here is that private void on trigger enter so when our first person co um, controller enters our um, collider or when anything um, um, within this piece of script enters our trigger anything with a collider um, our door anim so our animations in our animator with the set ball to is opening will open to true okay so that means our animations will work and open and then we've obviously said our door anim is this parent that get object the component animator Cool, so what we can do is command S on that and save that. Let's go back to Unity and make sure that it's that up. So we need to add our script to door trigger. So we click on door trigger, add our script. There we go, there it is. And let's play our games. Let's make sure we're on game tab. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so hopefully when I walk in to my trigger there we go my door has opened and I can walk through and if I will keep walking you'll find that aha my door isn't closing and that looks a bit funny doesn't it so my door is remaining open so how do we close that brilliant if we do something else and we just want that door open permanently within our game. We know how to do that. But what if we want that door to close after we've walked out of that trigger? Okay, well, what we can do is let's just quickly um, play this. Come out of play. Let's look at our script again. So first time we said on void, uh, on trigger enter, and if you're unaware of this, there is actually in fact if we go to private void again and go on trigger, there we go on trigger exit. There it is. So if we add that, what we can say is pretty much the opposite of what we've said for um, is opening. So it's going to be false. So underscore door anim dot set ball. Um, is going to be is opening and that will now be false there we go so let's quickly save that let's press play so hopefully once we leave our trigger our door will close again so let's press play and so let's have a look let's walk into our door 
It's opened. Fantastic. That means we're in the trigger. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, okay. Let's have a look. If I walk in that trigger. So what's happening there is that you can see my um, door is moving upwards. But because I've set the trigger onto it, the, the trigger um, or the collider is moving. So it's always opening and closing the door because I'm falling into and out of the um, the collider. So what we can quickly do is um, essentially go to our door trigger and expand that. So let's have a look, zoom out. So expand that out. Let's just say something ridiculous like that, maybe. Close it in a little bit. That'll do. So if I then press my game, walk into my trigger, door opens and stays open because as you can see on the scene, I'm still in the trigger. And then when I walk through the door, lovely. And as soon as I walk out of it, there we go. The door has closed. Okay. Um, I hope you understood this tutorial and you have enjoyed it. Go through and watch it again. If I've gone a bit too quick, I do apologise. Um, but hopefully, um, see you soon. Thank you.